guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i made my homemade version of aloe vera juice for moisturizing my hair i also use this in my girls hair for moisture and to maintain healthy growth i'll also be sharing with you some of the benefits of using aloe vera in your hair here now is where i dice my aloe vera leaf into smaller pieces so that I am able to cut the skin off as well as those pricky edges and begin the blending process. And this end that we have left here, I'll just dice into smaller cubes and I'll just use that directly on my face. And I'll just continue pairing these edges off so that I can get my gel from inside these leaves. And this part here is the end of our aloe vera leaf. As you can see, it has already started oxidizing, so we just throw that out. Alright guys, so this yellow liquid that I am showing you right here is what is called aloin. And this is found directly beneath the outer layer skin of the aloe vera leaf and that can cause an allergic reaction. So we just go ahead and we wash our aloe vera leaves in some water as well as you can leave this in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can go ahead and wash yours under running water but I went ahead and washed mine in a bowl in order to show you the amount of yellow liquid we got from all three aloe vera leaves. I'll now just use my knife and peel the skins off and then I'll just go ahead and use a spoon to extract the gel from inside. And I'll just continue doing that for all of the pieces that I have here. And as I mentioned before, the chemical that is found inside the aloe vera leaf called aloin, this is what the watercolor looks like after washing and soaking all three aloe vera leaves. Here are some of the benefits of using aloe vera gel in your hair. Aloe vera gel has vitamin C, E, B12 and folic acid that may help nourish and strengthen your hair. It has moisturizing effects. Aloe vera gel also contains enzymes and fatty acid that may help reduce inflammation. Aloe vera gel also promotes hair growth, smooth natural curls, locks in moisture, reduces frizziness, 
and detangles the hair. After blending for approximately 5 minutes, I then use a fine strainer to strain the juice. You can also use a kitchen cloth as there will be residue left from the gel. This can also cause a build up on your hair. This right here is the residue I mentioned earlier that was left after straining the juice. And guys, here I will store some of my aloe vera juice in a glass bottle and this will be kept in my fridge. And the rest I poured in my spray bottle so whenever I'm ready to moisturize my hair, I'll have it right at hand. And it is best to use one of these spray bottles where the pump has a filter at the end so any residue that is left in the bottle will be filtered out. So guys, this is how I made my aloe vera juice to moisturize and condition my hair. Let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful and if you use aloe vera in your hair. Please remember to like, subscribe and share this video. Also, turn on your post notification so you'll be alerted whenever I upload another video, including how I use aloe vera juice to moisturize my hair daily. Thanks for watching. Bye!